The iPhone 5C was released in the year 2013 along with the iPhone 5S. It was offered as a budget option for people who wanted the iOS experience but not having to pay $600. But the iPhone 5C is not what you think it is. Hey guys, I'm Ethan from Alumni Tech 47 and today we are going to look at these two iPhone 5Cs and talk about the features, my experience using it, and see if this iPhone is even worth it at all. Before we get started, make sure you go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at alumnitech47. Links are in the description so that you can check me out. So the iPhone 5C was a phone that I used in junior high a couple of years ago. I found it in the cupboard and found it better than my iPad mini 1. This was the blue iPhone 5C that you see here. It was previously used by my grandma before she upgraded to the iPhone 6. I had this phone from around early 2016 to mid 2017 before upgrading to the iPhone SE. When I first had this phone, it was already 3 years old, but it still got iOS updates and even performed pretty well. But I quickly realized that this phone could have been better. The outside of the phone is plastic and has curvy edges, unlike the iPhone 5 and 5S. And as you can see, the phone gets scratched very easily and the shell can have some scrapes that don't look pleasant. Even the buttons are plastic, but at least they aren't as gummy as the buttons on the original iPhone. On the bottom you have the lightning dock connector as well as the headphone jack. It was nice to have a headphone jack back then since I didn't have airpods. The mono speaker is decent and isn't too loud. Above you have the classic home button, which I didn't like at the time. Apple has had Touch ID around for a while and I was using this phone and wished I had Touch ID. Luckily this was the last iPhone to be produced with the classic home button. The screen stayed the same with a 4 inch 640x1136 resolution display. On top of the phone, you have the same cameras as the iPhone 5 with an 8 megapixel sensor on the rear and a 1.2 megapixel selfie camera. I'll show you some pictures from this iPhone 5C right now. Like I've said, the iPhone 5C is not what you think it is. The features I've been talking about are similar to the iPhone 5. It has the same cameras, the same screen, and even the same specs. The iPhone 5C has the same A6 chip and 1GB of RAM as the iPhone 5. This means that the phone performs just as good as the iPhone 5. So why did Apple have to release the same phone the next year? Well, it was sadly a cash grab. But a lot of people didn't know at the time and thought the phone would be a really great deal. Our family thought it was a great deal and most of us got one at the time, but in the long run it wasn't really as great as of a deal. The iPhone 5C only goes to iOS 10 where the iPhone 5S which was released alongside the 5C was updated all the way to iOS 12, a 2 year difference for just a little bit more money. Plus you get Touch ID and a more premium look. Now it seems like Apple did respond by releasing the iPhone SE in 2016. It basically had the same specs as the iPhone 6S that was released just a few months before it. Plus it came with the nice premium feel that the 5S had. And that is why the iPhone SE was tremendous and made the iPhone 5C look like a failure. Apple did announce the new iPhone SE a couple days ago and I honestly think it is an excellent option for people who just want a phone that works and is reliable. And by having their latest chipset and a decent amount of RAM, I think they'll do good with this iPhone SE. But too late was the iPhone 5C discontinued. I believe Apple will remove too many features from the iPhone 5S and even the iPhone 5 to where it was too budgety. They kind of used the iPhone 5C as a better option to buy from the iPhone 5 since it had problems with the color rubbing off over time. But they should have just kept the iPhone 5 and updated the slate black to the more space gray color and kept selling it. But hey, lesson learned for Apple and I don't think they will be making a mistake like that again. And I think I am done talking about the iPhone 5C. So that wraps it up. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, comment down below if you've ever used an iPhone 5C. And check me out on Instagram and Twitter at alumnitech47 so you can see behind the scenes and other goodies. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.